Today we are going to try something different. We are going to be using Lovable, which is an AI-powered platform that allows you to build any kind of web apps and software by simply talking in plain English and describing what you want. And I want to see how far we can bring it and whether we can use Lovable to build voice agents. And to be precise, I wonder if we can create a voice agent that tells story about my company called Parslabs in a natural and engaging way. Let's find out. If you've never tried Lovable before, this is the Lovable main page. And once you land on it, you're supposed to, in a very short way, explain what is it that you want to build. Let's start with a chatbot first, a text chatbot, and then try to make it into a voice bot. Let's say something like, please create both backend and frontend for a chatbot that is powered by LLMs and can answer user questions using OpenAI LLMs. Let's see what it can build. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is making a plan of what it needs to build. While it's making a plan, let's make sure it's connected to GitHub. Yes, that's correct. So now all the code that Lovable writes will be stored in our GitHub so that later, if we want to work with it ourselves, we can open VS Code or Cursor and go and edit it ourselves after the MVP is done. All right, so we are supposedly gotten something and GitHub is connected as well. Let's try to refresh the page and build unsuccessful. Okay, we click try to fix that and see if that helps. All right, and now the code should be fixed. Let's try to refresh it. This is where it wants me to paste my code. Okay, it saved it. Let's try again. Hey, how are you? Okay, so the chatbot is working. Now let's see if we can turn this chatbot into a voice bot. Now turn this chatbot into a voice bot. There's going to be a microphone. I'm going to click on it and start talking. You're going to transcribe it using Whisper and respond back to me using LLMs. Okay, so it should be done now. Now we have this microphone button. Let's try. Hey, how are you doing? Hello, I'm just a program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here and ready to help you. How can I assist you today? Okay, we even got a voice, even though I was not asking for the voice. Can you connect to 11 labs? Okay, let's see if it can connect to 11 labs. Probably it's going to ask me for my 11 labs or a key. So I'm going to go and search for that one. 11 labs. Logging. Okay, where would I have the IP keys? Here. Create an IP key level 12. Okay. Uh, it said that I can uh -huh, specify my IP key here from Lovable, and now it should be able to work. Hey, what's the weather like today? I'm sorry, but I can't provide real time weather updates. You might want to check a weather app or website for the latest information. Okay, that is better. Now I don't like the interface, so I want to simplify it and say... Don't show me the logs. Make a very super simple interface instead, where you have just a mic in the middle of the screen. And I can click on it, talk to it. And once I finish speaking, then I get a response generated using LLMs. Okay, now it got very simple. That's exactly what I asked for. Let's see. Hey, what are you up to today? Hello, I'm here to help answer your questions and provide information. How can I assist you today? What can you do? It's been generated. It's just slow because it's slow. I can assist yeah. with a wide range of tasks, such as one, <laughs> providing information and answering questions on various topics. Two, Please stop offering explanations and... You're welcome. Okay. If there's anything oh. else you need, feel free to ask. Okay, we can see that it's not very conversational. So let's try and see if we can update the prompt. Can you show me the current prompt that you used to generate uh, the answer? 
Okay, so here's the prompt. Your helpful, friendly assistant, please provide clear and concise response. Please update the prompt and say that you are a helpful and friendly assistant and you are leading a conversation. It's a voice conversation, so your text needs to be simple and conversational. The sentence structure needs to be simple and your responses need to be rather short, maximum three sentences. Okay, let's try to see what happens if it updates the prompt and then I ask the exact same question, which was, how can you help? Okay, so now it's updated. Let's try again. Hey, how can you help? Hi, I can help answer questions, provide information, or assist with tasks like reminders or finding things online. Just let me know what you need. Okay, that was way more conversational. That's good. The next step would be to store the conversation history in Superbase. Let's try that. Can you create a new Superbase table called conversation log and store all our conversation history there? Okay. So it said that I need to first connect my project to Superbase. Let's see how to do that. I will click connect because I already created my Superbase project and I click connect and now it is connected. Okay, perfect. Please create a new Superbase table. There we will store all the conversation logs that happen between our voice assistant and the user. This is going to be important for us because later we can analyze those logs at scale and we can even create smart dashboards using Allowbom. So let's see, it generated code to create a new table. I just need to click apply changes and it will now create the Superbase database and connect our front end and back end to it so that we can store the logs. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's try again. Hi, what are you up to today? Hi, I'm here to help you with any questions or tasks you have. What about you? Okay, that's perfect. Let's now try to go to Superbase and try to see which tables do we have. So we have one called conversation logs. I think that's the recent one. And this is the structure of the table. And if we click here, then we can see the logs. Hi, what are you up to today? Hi, I'm here to help you with any questions. So that was exactly what we now asked. So now we are storing conversation logs and then later we can analyze them. That is perfect. Now let's go back to our project and try another thing. Please switch my current voice to Liam. Okay, did the voice change? Hey, tell me more about Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland, okay, known for its good. historic and cultural attractions. It features the famous Edinburgh Castle. Okay, I got to thank you. Edinburgh Festival. You're welcome. If you have more questions, feel free to ask. Okay, to be honest, I liked Sarah more, but uh, I just wanted to see if we can also easily change the voices. The next thing we need to do is to create RAG pipeline, because if you remember, we initially wanted to create a storytelling voice assistant that will tell about my company. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, Create a new Superbase table where you're going to store information about my company. My company website is https parslabs.org. You, you need to crawl information from my website and store it there and then create a RAG pipeline so that when I am asking questions that you answer using LLM based on my data and based on information I have about my company called Parslabs. Okay, this sounds a little bit complex, so let's see if it can actually crawl information from the website, store it in Superbase, and then set up a vector database as well. Okay, so for the Superbase, it now suggests to create a new table. Okay, let's do that. Mm-hmm. And now we got an issue, so it's trying to fix that. Okay, so the SQL migration was successful. That's good. Now it's trying to implement a RAG pipeline. I do wonder, meanwhile, which information it is storing in a Superbase. So let's go back here. 
and it has something called content embeddings, which for now is empty, so it only created the structure. Okay. Okay, so it said that it implemented everything. Let's try if it works. Okay, let's um, give it some feedback. Okay, so the interface changed a lot. Maybe I was not very clear about what is it that I wanted, but let's ask about parse labs. What is parse labs? I guess it's no longer using voice. I don't have enough information about parse labs from the provided context. Could you please provide more details or clarify your question? This did not work as I would have wished. Okay, let's uh, give it a simpler task. Let's not ask it to crawl the website. Let's just copy the website information and then say, store this information in a new super base table called data. Yeah, I'm really not liking what it's doing with the UI. It's been going so well. And now we got something really complicated. And I think that's it with those kind of tools. Yes, they are already quite powerful if you know how to use them. And simple things they can also do rather well. However, it can also really quickly go wrong, especially if you are not very clear in what you want and if you don't formulate things very well then it will just make things up that you didn't ask for okay now it is storing information in superbase that's good and what we're gonna try to do afterwards is ask to train a vector database based on this data let's see let me know in the comments below. Do you think it would have been faster to just code it instead of talking in English with Lovable to make this voice agent? Then uh, I'm really curious if you think it's uh, worth the time. Let me know. Now it's updating the UI, which I didn't necessarily ask for. I don't need to update the UI, but let's see if it's stored information. And let's, and let's again check the Superbase to see where it is storing things okay so it has the section type section content section title okay good so it did create the database that's good and here's all the parse labs information and you can even filter it why choose why choose parse labs okay that's that looks kind of fancy i didn't ask for it but but all right do you think that being a programmer would help with talking to Lovable? Can you imagine that someone who doesn't know how to program at all and who has never written SQL queries, that they would be just as well able to build apps in Superbase without any coding knowledge already now in the state that Lovable is working at now? Let me know. I am not sure. For now, it seems like it still is very helpful to be able to understand the code and i'm not doing it now just for the for the purity of the experiment but if i would have been reading the code i think i would have been able to give a better feedback to lovable and to control it and guide it in a better way okay one last try let's try to see if we can simplify it Hi, I only need one view where I'm talking with the voice. My voice is being transcribed. And then the transcription is being passed through RAG pipeline to find the information that is relevant to my question. This information is then being pasted into the LLM prompt. LLM generates the response given the relevant information. And then you use text to speech to respond back to me. Please fix everything and simplify the front end. I only need the microphone and everything else. Training the embeddings, a rag pipeline, working with the data that all needs to happen on the back end. Okay, I give it just um, another try. When I clicked generate embeddings, did it actually? generate any embeddings and if so where would it be storing them 
It doesn't look like it's in Parse Labs in 4. It's also not in reg queries. And it's not on the website content, neither. So that's still a mystery to me. Okay, okay we got a simpler way, a simpler interface. Let's try it. Tell me about Parse Labs. Oh, God. No, I was referring to the company that you know about. I'm here to provide information about Parse Labs. What do they do? How can I assist you? Parse Labs specializes in providing services and solutions related to data processing and management. No, this is our own. have specific questions okay. about their services or products. That's it. Feel free to ask. I think that RAG was not implemented. And if you don't know how to code, there is also not a very simple way to debug it and test if that works or doesn't. So my conclusion for now is that you cannot create great chatbots or voice assistants using Lovable. You can create simple prototypes that just work, but if you need something a little bit more complex, then you definitely need to know how to code and how to put that together. And I'm not even talking about making your AI assistants and voice agents sound more human. That requires a completely different set of expertise and you won't be able to, to fix that just by using tools like Lovable. But that having said, it was a fun experiment for me. I hope you also enjoyed it and you learned something new about what is possible now with the current technology. If you want to see more videos like this and more videos, more serious videos about voice technology and chatbot development, conversation design, then follow me on this channel, click subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I see you in the next one.